Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. What messages do we have for you today? Don't forget you all to like, subscribe, and share. I really, I really would appreciate you all doing that. Help support the channel. All right. Oh, what messages, Spirit, do you want me to leave today for the earthly Virgos? Ten of Cups. So why are we starting out your reading today, Earthlies, with the Ten of Cups? Bliss, marriage, achievement, a beautiful family, the Queen of Wands. This is something like you're envisioning uh, that you want. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Maybe you wanted this Ten of Cups energy. Maybe you wanted marriage, okay, um, or a serious relationship. This is something that you've still, the idea, the thought, is something that you're still holding on to. Or you have some something going on in your family element and you're thinking about it and you don't know how to fix it. You don't, you, it needs to be talked about. Maybe there needs to be some counseling here, Virgos. Messages for Virgos, please, Spirit, what do you say? We have a Queen of Cups. Okay. Overall energy for the earthly Virgo. Somebody's wondering if, if they're going to get proposed to. Um, so we have the hanged man. And we also have the four of cups. I'm also looking at the uh, tower. I know y'all probably tired of hearing about love, but it looks like something is ended here. It's over with. We have this tower here. Um, you sincerely wanted a connection here, something that was going to lead to marriage. And now you're focused on this broken heart because you felt that, that this person didn't share their feelings with you. They didn't share. They held on. They held on to their feelings and emotions for you. And they were hung up on past heartache and pains that they've been through. So though they have feelings for you and cared about you, they really were not ready to acknowledge their feelings for you. I, I can tell you all day long that I love you and care about you. But if you're not reciprocating, if you're not sharing that same feeling with me, why are we together? Okay, so somebody ended this connection. And it was devastating to the both of you. You wanted something that that person wasn't ready to give, okay, or vice versa. So somebody left. You had to. You had to. You had to take care of your heart if this was you. That's for the Virgos, please. We have to. We have the privileged lady. Followed by the false person. There we go. And we have marriage. There we are. Marriage. So I'm assuming that the person that you were with, the relationship ended. With, before they met you, they were in another relationship, possibly even a marriage. Okay. That marriage didn't work out because the person they were with probably messed around on them. Okay. This is you. This is privileged lady, male or female. Take how it resonates for this reading, okay? So this person was married already, okay? But the person they were with was a false person. Um, so this person, though they loved you and cared about you, whoever this person was in their life, the male or female was a false person, lied to them, probably cheated on them. And therefore they had their heart blocked when they got in a relationship with you, you know, because they always thought about what that other person did to them. And, and this person cannot hold you responsible for, for somebody else who fucked up their life. So it ended with this person and, and their marriage that they had. It's, it was over with, but they never forgot about it. Okay. Uh, they never forgot about how that heartbreak or that um, deception hurt them. You know, but like I said, they can't take that out on you. They can't make you responsible for their broken heart. And it's like, that's what they 
Um, that's what they tried to do. Um, that's what they did. Because if, if the feelings weren't mutual, if they weren't sharing their feelings with you about how they felt about you, though they probably cared about you a great deal, though they probably loved you, uh, they refused to uh, to tell you. They refused to show you. You know, and that, that's unfair to you. But if you left this person, you did it out of love for yourself. And that's the best thing that you can do. The best thing you could have done. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Ace of Swords. The Moon Card. So you didn't know where this connection was going or if it was ever going to go anywhere. It's probably very, very stagnant in this connection for, for both of you all. But this person never gave you everything. They never gave you their all. And that was bad for you because you put a lot into the feelings for this person because you thought, hell, this was the one for you that this was going to be the one that you would share your life with. But this person stepped outside of the of the norm of the relationship. Well, they kind of like held everything in and, and they didn't give you what you needed in this connection. So you have to think of a different way. What could you do? Other than say, you know what, I'm going to cut the potential off because if I stay in this connection, I may be the one to end up getting hurt. I may be the one to end up losing everything, you know, so you have to take a chance and say, I'm going to break this cycle of this connection. I'm going to I'm going to wreck some shit here. You know, either you're going to shake this person up or by breaking up with them, are you going to shake them up enough for them to come back with you because they realize what they were losing? Okay. King of Cups. The Ace of Cups, the um, Tower. I told you, this person loves you, okay? Or they loved you, they just didn't know how to say it, okay? Uh, this person realized when they got with you that they cared about you or there was a potential for something to happen for you deeply, for the two of you. But the Tower here, this person didn't know how to share their feelings. They didn't know how to open up their feelings and emotions for you, okay? So they lost, they, they lost the best thing they could have ever had in their life. See, got retreat. Okay. This person, instead of going off together with you, having a nice time, spending a good time, they disconnected from you. Though you were still in the relationship in their heart and in their mind, they disconnected from you, Virgo, from the heart because they couldn't, they couldn't share their feelings with you. Out of out of fear of hurt, okay. Okay, let's uh, clarify this King of Cups. This is their feelings toward you because they cared about you one hundred percent. They knew that you were the one for them, but they couldn't tell you could tell him or her that you loved them and cared about you, but they couldn't share the same feeling. They said something like, um, "What's that?" Like Patrick Swayze to say it on on uh, Ghost Ditto or something like that. They didn't really come out to tell you that they love you. They probably said that I show you that I love you or I don't have to say it because you said that kind of stuff. But you know how I feel or have very strong feelings for you or very deep emotions for you instead of just telling you that they love you. OK, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is very, very um, into their energy, what they're doing in their life, probably grounding and making more money, expanding their income. They want love, but they don't know how to say it. They don't know how to speak their truth to anybody and not even themselves. But now that they've lost you, that's probably going to be different. You got the lovers. They love you. Okay. I mean, deeply, but they couldn't, they couldn't tell you how they felt about you. And that was bad of that. You know, if they acknowledge that you were everything they ever needed in their life, you are all of that. And then some, he just refused to tell you, or she just refused to tell it, you know, out of, because they've been through hurt in a marriage or a connection. I want to clarify the tower, clarify the tower for the earth and Virgo. Clarify the tower for the earthly Virgos, please. The Knight of Wands. This person was very attracted to you. Look, bottom of the deck. <laughs> um, so this person definitely um, felt. I'm hearing they feel a little um, bedazzled. You know, they feel like, man, I've lost 
everything. I lost the person I was going to marry. I lost the person that I thought would be in my life for the rest of my life. But I think this person has lost the will right now to, and the resilience to uh, give you what you need or well, to give themselves what they need. They deserve somebody like you and they had you. And now they feel like a failure. Like, damn, I fucked up. What can I do? They feel exasperated. Okay. Now, uh, because they lost you. So we have the tower and the nine of wands here. I'm sorry, the knight of wands. This person is, is they have to understand like, you know what? I, I, I did something that I never thought that I would do. They, th this person didn't want to take the risk in loving you. They didn't want to own up to their feelings because they thought at some point if they fell in love with you, if they told you how they felt about you, that you would end up hurting them like the person did in the past. They're very passionate about you. They care about you, but they don't know how to say it. Okay. This person has some some heart healing to do, Virgo, but they can't hold you re responsible for the broken heart they had in their past. They got to get over that. Okay. If they don't get over that, how are they going to ever fall in love with anybody? What do they want to say to you? If your person had something to say, what would it be? If your person had anything to say, Virgo, what would it be? What would it be? We have put away your computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. This person probably took a vacation, a couple of vacation days, or they need to just to get away. And they may call you and say, well, can we talk or, or are you OK? Or maybe you'll call them and see what's up with them. Maybe they worked harder at, at making the money instead of working on things with you. So they have to back away from reality for a little while. Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve or go. So you did the right thing by letting this person go. That's possibly the best decision that you could have ever made. Some of you, if you didn't make the decision, it's time to make a decision about this relationship because this person is un this person is emotional, emotionally unavailable. OK, emotionally unavailable, Virgo, and you have to do what's best for you. I did it the other day. But, you know, we have to do what's what's best for us. It's just that simple. Let's get a final call here for Virgos, please. This unavailable person in your life. Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. Okay. And you're not you're no longer in denial. Decide. I'm sorry, detach with love to clearly see the truth. You love this person enough to let him or her go because you know that you deserve better. And that person deserves better too. Um, as far as when I say that, I mean that if they couldn't bring, bring themselves to love you, maybe spirit is going to open them up so they can fall in love with somebody else. Okay. Someone that's truly meant to be with him or her. And we have healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need re, need revisiting. So this person needs to needs to heal some past wounds from that past relationship uh, because they're going to keep on hurting other people by not loving themselves. If they don't love themselves, how, how can they possibly say to you, I love you, Virgo? Okay. So you did the right thing by, by ending the connection with this person, because if, if they can't love you, then why, why do you want to waste your time constantly trying to love them? You know what I'm saying? All right. Hope this message resonates. Talk to you later.